UAB was a tough team. They uh, threw some wrenches at us. The, the shifts um, were tough. Their pitching was tough. They were aggressive. They certainly were not intimidated by us in any way. So I thought we got pressed by UAB, and it was uh, very appreciated that they showed up for us, that we were both on our bye weekend. So for them to make the trip was really appreciated and um, thought we played well. Um, looking forward to getting back on the field. We had two days off, one on Sunday and one um, yesterday. I believe they did some of their work on their own, which is good to know that was happening. Um, today, I'm very much looking forward to practice again because um, they're just so valuable and they're just, we don't get them very often. So I'm ready to push them at practice and put some big situations in front of them and see how they handle it. Mm -hmm but looking forward to Tulsa tomorrow and then getting back into conference. And we're done with that bye weekend and now we can just start rolling a little bit more. So it was a good breath for us and ready to get back to work. It is extremely important that we go through what does it feel like six innings in a scoreless game? That game lasted an hour and 30 minutes. So it felt like time was ticking on us. You could feel the innings just coming on us quickly. So how did that make them feel? I, I need them to feel something different and a little more like uh, urgent and pressure. Um, run rules are just falsely advertised. They are not. It, it looks wonderful in the scorebook and wow look at it just does not do us well it just doesn't we need to feel more things and feeling the pressure from UAB I couldn't have asked for anything more I, I thought they were just great uh, competitors and bowing up to us and the pitcher doing the same some of our hitters were getting frustrated you could feel that. We need to feel those things and how to get through that. And um, we stood through it. Our pitchers and our pitchers are just saving us. They're saving the day for us. We would like to, well, I don't want to say this, but we want to save the day for our pitchers and have more of an offense when maybe our pitchers aren't throwing well, but our pitchers are just having great outings after outings. So uh, I'd like to see the defense make a walk-off game, diving play to save a game, something besides just the pitchers getting us out of jams. And uh, we saw our hitting come through again, which was nice. Um, so we need those. We need those. Definitely need those. one thing that's just driving me crazy is defense and defense has always been my favorite part of the game. Um, because I do truly believe when you look at championships, you can go back and see a big play on defense that changed the whole dynamic of a game. We're, we're counting so much on our pitchers that I don't know why we're a little, either we're sloppy or we're nervous or we're not prepared. And I definitely want to make sure we're prepared. So we're going to spend more of our efforts on defense. Uh, but they're very athletic. A lot of our defensive issues are, have been through our throws. And I looked at it last night. I think... I think overall we have 23 errors and you're looking at that going, well, that's not too bad, but we got a lot of, of, of opponents as well. So when you get that shot, you don't get it very often, you need to nail it. And that's um, our, our problems are coming through our throws, which are so much more av avoidable because you are in so much more control how to throw the ball versus how the ball might bounce off the dirt or so forth. So uh, that is where I'm just I'm kind of surprised by looking back at it. We have about a third of those throwing errors from the outfield, majority from the infield. So we're just going to be working more on that and 
I am very determined to make sure this is fixed the best I can. Definitely. Uh, I think COVID and their um, scheduling last year did not allow some things to happen for them, but we, we definitely want to continue our yearly exchange. So next year you'll see us going there. That's the plan in our minds. So from this end, we definitely want to keep that relationship going. For more information, you can visit TulsaWorld.com.